Hello and welcome to a brief Chip Maestro tutorial. My name is Tom, I program the Chip Maestro, and I'll be walking you through a few of its key features today. The NAS has three tonal channels that the Chip Maestro uses. The first is a triangle wave, and the next two are pulse waves, also known as square waves. When you first turn the Chip Maestro on, it defaults to piano mode. Why don't we give it a try? The first note you press in piano mode will be the triangle wave. If you press the second, it'll be a square wave. And the third will be the second square wave. If your keyboard has a pitch bend wheel, you can try that out in piano mode. Depending on which mode you're in, the modulation wheel will have a different effect. In piano mode, it's decay. This causes your notes to take a little while to trail off. The Chipmeister has plenty of modes and plenty of options to configure those modes. All the options keys are on the zeroth octave, which you can find by pressing the octave change button on your keyboard. The options keys are keys C0 through G0, and the mode change key is C0. Now we're in arpeggiation mode. Let's give it a try. When you're in arpeggiation mode, it'll live up to its name and arpeggiate through the notes that you play. F0 changes the arpeggiation direction. The mod wheel changes the arpeggiation speed. Right now, we're in arpeggiation up. But you can press F0 again to make the arpeggiation go down. And again to make it ping pong. plenty of keys with this. Another of the modes you can toggle through using C0 is the slide mode. Let's give that a try. Just hit C0, go back up. Yes. Alright, now anytime you press a second note when you're holding down a first, it'll slide between them. Simple enough. Now you can use the mod wheel here to change the length of the slide. Notice how I turn the mod wheel up, it takes longer to slide. Now, the Chip Maestro has plenty of other options keys too, and I'm going to explain a few of them. Uh, one of them is F sharp 0, which increases the pitch bend range on your pitch bend wheel. Uh, so, we'll go up a couple octaves and test that out. At its highest setting, pitch bend bends the note an entire octave. Another important programming key is the one that changes the order of the piano channels. Press D0, and then the following four notes in the order that you want. And then press D0 again. Now let's put it back in piano mode and test this out. Now, the channels will be in the same order, but you'll notice that the noise channel is heard when you press the fourth key. Now, there are only a few more options keys that I'll go over, um, two of which are C-sharp-0 and D-sharp-0, which change the duty cycle on your pulse waves. Uh, you have options between 25%, 50%, 12.5%, and 75%, which you can toggle through using C-sharp-0 and D-sharp-0 toggle Pulse 1 and Pulse 2, respectively. The E0 key changes a solo channel, which defaults to triangle, but it's now set to square. Let's go to arpeggiation mode to test that out. 
Yes. Very nice. Uh, now the final option key that I'm going to show in this video, and keep in mind that all of these keys are going to be written down in the manual for easy reference, is G0, which toggles tonal noise. Now let's make that the first channel on our piano, and try it out. Ooh, it sounds like uh, modem tones, but... You know, it's still sometimes useful for composition, obviously. Okay. Let's just set the channels back to their normal order. All right, this is the end of the video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy your chip maestros. Uh, 